here we are, <laughs> Washington's Crossings, going to introduce a new character on the kids' TV show. This is Fudd. Fudd, say hi. What's up? Fudd's a Kenzo. <laughs> Me and Fudd, uh, we're off today. I said, hey, you want to go do a school trip? Me and you? And he said, yeah. Uh, so here's the deal. Um, I've never, I, I did this once like 10 years ago. I'd never been inside this museum. There is an auditorium that has a movie. We have a map. There is a bridge. We might cross a bridge. Fud, I don't know if you watch my channel. Horrible fear of heights. So that should be fun. Uh, so we're going to do that. So this this is this a little exhibit about what's here. Uh, honestly, I, the Delaware River is so tiny here. It's so tiny. Um, I'm not not to knock what Washington did. It was a good deal, but it's like Penny Pack Creek. All right, that's what they wore. So this is state run. It's not federal run, like everything in Philadelphia. So stuff costs money. The tour is seven dollars. To go up the tower, seven dollars. I might have to do that. It's not that hot today. Um, and, and there's another tour you could do for seven dollars. We're not doing that. We got them at. So me and Fudd, we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn and we're gonna, it starts with a movie. Let's go to, the okay. Movie starts in three minutes. We got here early. We're gonna find a seat. There he is doing that thing. You know, I never noticed how small the river is in that painting, but it's very small. And look how many boats there are. And there ain't no bridge. I don't think that's a factual picture. There's no bridge in that picture. All right, so this is, we're gonna watch the movie. I, if they play that movie on that TV, I'll make a video right after. As the Delaware winds the bend towards Washington Crossing, it is as it was more than 200 years ago. A physical boundary between Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, no horses permitted on the bridge. The weight limit is strictly enforced, but there is no sign saying what the weight limit is. I have to fix GoPro after this video. Yeah, well, look at that. I'm, all right, well, let's see how far I can go. That's your one. Rocking, bro. Is it rocking? I'm okay, Fud. I'm okay. No, you can do it. If I can do it. Here's the, I'll tell you what. Know what I'd be more scared to cross? Is that part. With the, the grates? Yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing, bro. Like... Yeah? Oh, dude, if it's not in the... Well, the, the biggest thing is the fall. Whoa, okay, that board was loose. Um, the, the, the fall isn't that high. Oh. With all these cars driving by with the fumes. <laughs> it's a beautiful sight. <laughs> There's traffic going by. I tell you, it's a nice view, though. It's beautiful up here. Now, me and Fudd, we already walked all of everything that's at Washington's Cross. And, and I, I I had my temper tantrum already. We can get put off the bridge. I had my temper tantrum already. Um, I was mad because everything's a replica, but not everything's a replica. Some things are a replica, some things aren't. Uh, but when Washington crossed the river here, there wasn't nothing here except a, a ferry. So what, what the hell am I mad about? There was nothing here. So they built the town up after. Uh, Right, so that is a tavern. Tavern. It's from the 1700s. Uh, and there's additions to it. You can see the difference in the brickwork and the masonry. That's how you know the addition and the add-on. It's pretty easy to see. This guy here, Fudd, look at this house. So this is when I lost my mind. I'm like, yo, this place is a ripple of like Pensbury Manor. Pensbury Manor, a dental lies. None of it is original. If the oldest building is younger than me, I don't want, there, there is a building younger than me in here. That's a nice house from the 1800s. See, that's how I edit. That's Jersey? That's Jersey. We're in Pennsylvania. And uh, so we watched a movie in a movie theater that they show. It and wasn't it, even a movie theater. It was, it was, it was, they had this watched, big who screen. Watched, who watched a movie on a TV? They had, they had a 32 inch HD flat screen and they had it hooked up to a DVD player. They didn't even have it on like a flash drive. Not that I'm making fun of them, because I wouldn't know how to do the flash drive anyway. But these are all old houses from the 1800s. Now, you, I was mad because you can't go in them. 
but you can go in them if you pay seven dollars for the tour and it, it looks like there's a lot of houses you get to go in and out of so one day i'll come back i'll, I'll cough up the seven shekels uh, so then then we notice like so that's the part so we crossed here and then we started walking watch this guy in this bike okay they got it they got it they got it you know what they got it they gotta uh, obey the traffic laws you know that i know you're a biker you let you respect bikers. i i hate bikers that drive in car lanes when there's open pavement uh oh. so these, that's, that's no, not no, no, no we're not i it's a kids tv show you got to remember that <laughs> so this house used to be this house was built probably like in 1976 i would say that's when they would try to build up all the stuff for the the bicentennial so i asked a girl that i think she i think she worked here i said what is this thing back here what is this i said what's it i said to her i go is this the first tacanelli's pizza a brick oven and she said no she goes it's a potter's come stupid um so what what they did is uh they built this up and i guess they had like a potter who was going to come here and volunteer time and help do pottery in here and it's an actual working like it still works you put the thing in there and then you put the you know did you ever see the movie ghost you get the clay you throw it in there it has open smokestacks and she said if you know anybody who is a potterer right potterer no, it's potter. a potter if you know a potter not i know potters um if you know a potter, if anybody knows anybody that does pottery and wants to help out Washington's Crossings, I'll have a link in the description. Just email them and say, hey, I saw the guy who talked about the pottery thing. And then they'll go, who are you talking about? Up from here. I don't... Will you stop it? What do you... What? It has steps. That's what it's for, right? That's what... what do you, I, I started a thing. Say it's fine. So that, that's, that's the size of the boat. No, I we saw the other guy do it first. You better calm down. You believe that I'm getting you nervous at all the things you do? See, that's that's the size of the boat. That now they're going to get in trouble, not me. I'm like, Phew. there's cannons, but these are not the actual boats. But these are the size of the boats. This painting here is symbolic. It's not even the Delaware River. It's a river in Germany. The lady said, right? These, there's 13 people that represents the colonies, anything from that era with 13 colonies. Winded. So those are the boats. So it took them 11 hours to cross the Delaware River from one side to the other. And I said to the lady after the tour, after the movie, yeah, I said, uh, not to be a wise ass, but why, why did it take 11 hours? You said eight, she had to correct me. She, oh, she, I said eight, I said, why, why did it take eight? She goes, oh, no, no, it took 11. And she said, well, because they had to transport cannons and da, da, da. And I said, now, why, well, why? I said, if it was 11 hours, there ain't no way. GW, that's what we call him. GW, there ain't no way he was on the first boat. She goes, the painting is purely symbolic. So Washington, that's just a picture. But you got to think, think about this, bud. You got to think about this guy, George Washington. A soldier? Spent, he had two bad winters that I've been to places where he spent them. And you know how bad winters are up here. Especially with no heat. Soldiers had no shoes. The river, I, I was going to talk trash because the river ain't that long. But they came here, they crossed that because the bridge wasn't there. And uh, he went and he invaded a Hessian army in Trenton. And they were paid mercenaries to kill colonial people. I, you know, the dude's a badass. I don't care. He, and then he had all the power in the world. And he said, you know what? I'm done. Thank you. Goodbye. Put me on a dollar bill. That's, a, day. that's it. I'm out. There's inside the house. That looks like, think, bud. What do you think of my lifestyle of going on tours, tour, of doing tours that you do in the third grade? Living a dream. I don't think I am. Because eight-year-old me would hate this. Uh, Eight-year-old you was a much more stupid version of you, so I think you're okay. Oh, and they're going to make this a garden. They're going to make this a garden. I hate going to a place and it says coming next year. 
well, I'm here this year. Don't don't rub it in my face. <laughs> right? Don't. Oh, coming spring of 2020. Well, what if I came here from Kentucky? I ain't coming back here. It's a, it's a one-time trip, you know? Oh, I guess I'll check the website. It's, right. Unless you live like in a bungalow. Oh, it, oh, it shakes. That's nice. Wait, are, is that cicadas? Yeah. I thought cicadas only come out every 24 years. No. Who the hell told you that? I saw it. Maybe. I don't know. And this is it. This is the same pier the dock he went off of. It's 17, whatever. I really didn't learn anything. I learned a little bit. I didn't get dates. You know what? I, I, I like you standing in the background like a. You, you, uh, you did learn something today, dude. Cicadas come out every year, not once every year. That's what I thought. I thought they come out every 17 years. Here comes the cicadas. What happened to the African killer bees? Where'd they go? They went to the land of Shaolin. What are you? I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm going to keep it in because if somebody gets that, let me know. I thought I had a bad fear of heights. That's Fud. Fud, say hi. He has a bigger fear of heights. This is Bowman's Tower. Now, down here, this is about three miles from Washington's Crossing. It's part of the Washington Crossings thing. Somewhere in these woods, George Washington and his men camped here. It is said that possibly they used this hill up here. And boy, I tell you, driving up here, it was a uh, wasn't a, an event. But somewhere there, George Washington spent a night or two. So they built this monument. The park employees built this monument as a tribute to George Washington. So here we go. You can take the elevator. I ain't doing it. I'm going to walk the steps. Bowman Hill Tower in memory of the crossing of the Delaware. Okay. This is, this is going up the steps. There's 124 steps. Low arch ahead. Oh, look at that. Wow, what a beautiful view. Oh, shoot. I'm going to be up high. Okay. Here we go. Not very wide. Not very wide. Oh, what a view. Looky, looky. I see hooky. Oh, okay. And if you look over there, there's the Delaware River. It's nice. So they built this in 1929 as a memorial and a tourist attraction, she said. So, uh, can you see Philadelphia? I guess Philadelphia. No, you can't see Philadelphia from here. So there you flat earthers. There you go. It's a nice clear. It's not that clear. You can't see Philadelphia from Bowman's Tower, so the earth's not flat. Price is solved. I just, I just... Now, for being as old as this is, and being what it's built of, and now knowing that it's built by park employees, I'm not as scared as I think I should be. But I like this wall. I like this wall, and I like this fence. It makes me feel I can't trip, I can't fall, nothing bad. Very sturdy. All right, so now we will do the descent down. All right, so I took the pictures. Uh, what do you do up here? Really? Yeah. 
if you go to a spot, right? Like if you go to a museum or something, and there's four pictures in that museum, there's four corners in this spot, right? I've been up there for 10 minutes. I just wanted to get a picture in all four corners because what the hell, I'm here. I'm probably never gonna do this again. So, they stood in that one corner. Oh! They stood in that one corner <laughs> for the entire time. So, I try to be a normal person. I didn't want to vlog. I thought, well, maybe I'll wait, I'll wait 10 minutes for them to go down and I'll be up there by myself. They both guarded that corner, taking selfies and all, and they were just sitting there talking. And so I decided, here we are! Oh, it's good. So, uh, yeah. Um, and, then, and then, because they were there, I wanted to take a picture. I don't know. And then, they, they, they know how to... Uh, I'm stuck with this damn over here. We were driving, you know, just minding our business, and and I made this quick right turn. And Fud's like, "Oh, what are you doing? You got with me?" I said, "Fud, there's a covered bridge down the street." And he said, what? Right, what, what'd you say? No. Yeah. And I said, did you ever go in the covered bridge? And he said, no. And I said, well, here we go. Fudd's first time on the covered bridge. This is my second time. Now it's just like Beetlejuice. Five tons is the weight limit. It's pretty. Kids Fudge. TV show. I, I didn't, I, I didn't. It's out here. Van Zant covered. Oh, ah, the this lighting's gonna suck in this. Oh. Now, here's the question: How do we get home? <laughs> <laughs> that took us out of the way. That was pretty neat, though, huh? I Here. guess I'm going through a covered bridge twice because we're going back the other way. I don't think. I think it's a one-way street. Oh, uh, shoot! Stuff. Oh, shoot! Stuff. Google Maps is our friend. Kind of reminds me of Snake Road. Remember Snake Road? Yes. Your dad ever drive Snake Road with the lights off? No. Yeah. My dad did. I no, but I was. That's terrifying. <laughs> he would do it for like three seconds. I don't know. My dad's a good dad. I don't want him thinking bad things. Just a couple of the guys who were up to no good. No, I'm around that. Chickens in the neighborhood. I thought I saw a Frank Lloyd Wright house. I lost my mind. I was like, oh my god! And then uh, I, real I realized there was another person in the car with me. I don't know if I said this on camera or after we filmed it, but when me and Flood drove over that covered bridge, I told him about the last time I drove over a covered bridge and how it took me 40 what is going on here it took me 40 minutes out of my way and how I didn't care it was cool uh, this one took us 25 minutes out of the way it was a little perturbed but that's okay we're still friends and I, I think he might come with me more often on tours and stuff because he thought everything cost money and he doesn't realize I sell water ice for a living pound 